Hi, this is Master Ken. In this video, we want to talk about something about this I found a discover in this in this article of war. So there's a good example to talk about it. So how to calculate the percentage of year or year growth? without using a variable so that will be creating a tree measure so they have this first and then the second and that's the third so and finally we have this thing okay so today we talk about that exactly we don't use any variable oh plus the next video we'll talk about how to use the variable uh, so this is the final result where you have the total year, total quantity previous years, and the total quantity year on year percentage. Okay, so the orders that. So, example is the last year is 5 million, and this year 2021 is 135 million. So, how, what's the percentage growth? It's 96%. And last year is 135 million, and this year is 40 million. And what's the percentage growth? It's a negative 852 percentage. So that that's the thing, right? Um, but how do you calculate, really how do you uh, create that measure, the tree measure? Well, there are three steps. So as I explained here, uh, you need to calculate the total quantity sold. And then calculate the total quantity sold for the previous year and then combine the two measures above to calculate a growth percentage. So first calculate the total quantity sold. What is the measure to use? This is the one. Okay, you have the sum function. And the second one is to use the calculate functions and combine with the same period last years that I talked about in my previous video. And finally, you have the year-on-year -year percentage growth. Uh, that growth uh, is to use the divide functions. Take the total year, total quantity of the current year, minus the previous years, and divide by the total quantity. So these ideas are similar to uh, what you see in. What you see here, okay, so it's right here. So it's just divide it, have a line. Okay, so that's the tree measure you created. And then we can just do it. So we just created the tree measure. First one is total. So you create it, click a new measure, and key in this thing. And the second is this total quantity use the first measure total quantity and use another function dex function same period last year it's a time intelligence and uh, lastly is that the third one is use the divide functions to divide total quantity minus total quantity so once you have this thing you can create the measure the the visual so create a matrix okay click on this matrix here which is right over here and pull out the total quantity uh we can also track the year okay so the year you can drag it to the rows area and then total quantity previous years and finally the year percentage then you click on the format tab, look at the uh, values area, and go for percentage increase by 40% uh, text size. So it's easier to read. Yes, and that is how to present this. You can also uh, take the tool and create a chart like this. Okay. 
So this is last year, last year, previous year, a current year. If you look at this here, and you can also create a slicer. Drag the years inside. Click this here. Change it to a uh, list, and then pick this. So now you compare total year, previous year, ninety six percent increase. This year, last year. So see, pretty interesting. Thanks for watching. I hope in this video you learn how to calculate a percentage of year over year growth using the three steps. One, two, three. Okay, and create this. And thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless Asia. I thank Jesus for giving me a plea to share.